Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Brandon here. And in today's video, we had a customer reach out who was saying, hey, um, how do I add a page or a group that's not already in my list? And so what I wanted to do is just to show you that we are on the page right now, like where would you like to go live? And you can actually click in the add destination button. And you can see here, I've got just a few places that I'm actually going live, okay? But I actually have other pages and groups. Um, the first step that I'd like to point out in troubleshooting this is over here on the side where we have this refresh pages and groups button. This is actually a button that communicates with Facebook. So basically what's gonna happen is if I click this button, it's now going to Facebook and talking and bringing back that information. So for example, if I click in here again, add destination, Again, nothing changed, right? But let's do this. What if I go over to Facebook and I'm gonna go ahead and hit my triangle here, go to settings and privacy, go to settings, go over to business integrations, and then I'm gonna click on live pigeon view and edit. And I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom here. And again, this is just good practice. I always do this anyway. I always make sure that who can see this business integration is turned to public. So I always like to do that at the beginning here. Um, but let's say I come in here and I want to add a page that I like to go live to. So um, let's see here, I can just choose Okay, so now that I've checked the pages and the groups that I actually wanted to go live to, I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And if you're unfamiliar with uh, seeing that, uh, we actually did another video, uh, which I will put a link to, so that you can see how to customize which pages and groups you actually see. So for example, I come in here and I only have one, two, three, four different places. But now watch what happens when I click this refresh pages and groups button. And now if I come in here, I've got one, two, three, four, five. So that is how you can go about adding pages and groups. So the default would be, this probably shows everything if you didn't choose and select um, to have live pigeon manage what you actually have access to. But I just wanted to show you in this video how if you still want to keep this area clean and tidy, you can. But if you add or if you've been recently added as an admin to a page, that's how to go about and do it is going into your settings and privacy, go into that business integration and add it. And then coming back here and just making sure that pages and groups um, gets pressed. Again, this isn't something that you have to do every time. This is just something that if you do make changes on Facebook, it's just a really good idea to, to click refresh pages and groups. Um, the other thing is if you ever get any warning messages or things like that um, where Facebook is just not talking well, with Live Pigeon, it's just to come here and click the refresh pages and groups button and it should clear anything out that might be a mess. So that's it you guys for this video. I always liked uh, pointing out at the end here, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, please feel free to reach out to us. We are here to help you. We put our contact information at the bottom of every page. Go ahead and email us or call us. Uh, you can do the chat as well, uh, but if you really wanting uh, the fastest way to do it is to call us. And um, man, we really want to make sure that uh, as you are getting your message ready to go out into the world, we want to be able to help support you in doing that. So if anything comes up, has, don't hesitate to reach out. We're here to help you. Again, my name is Brandon. And until next time.